Alrighty guys, we're back for some non-creature red, and this is a Brothers War standard brew. We're gonna go over the deck, then hop right into some ranked, but first things first, for anyone who may not know, I'm Redcat, and I play aggro decks and any decks with red in them as well, so I hope that sounds fun to you. Also, we do got that Discord link down in the description if you're interested in joining that up. Okay, what do we got in the build? We got four Flame Breathers, a two mana, one three. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Flame Breather deals one damage to each opponent, and it was actually a suggestion over in the Discord to play this with Mechanized Warfare. So we got four of these as well. Uh, thank you so much for the suggestion. This is definitely going to be a fun one. So a three mana enchantment. If a red or artifact source you control would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus one instead. So... It's actually a pretty powerful card, huh? It's going to pair beautifully with that Flame Breather. What do we have in our one-drop spots? Well, we got four End the Festivities and four Play With Fires. No surprises here, right? Rocking four Lightning Strikes as well as a couple of Braids too. Yeah, a Braid has been doing a, just a ton of stuff for me. Being able to hit artifacts is very important right now, honestly. Like simple, It could be as simple as just taking out a Reckoner Bank Buster, and you'll be pretty satisfied with that. So we got four Fable of the Mirror Breakers. No one is surprised. <laughs> we got three Chandra Dress to kill in here as well. It's a little bit shocking that we don't see more Chandra. We see it maybe in like 50% of the mono red decks that we see. And then in those builds, I think they're just rocking one of these Chandras. I think all three of these is going to be pretty great in here. You know, it's just another non-creature spell that works with the Flame Breather. But it also works pretty well with Maniform Hellkite as well, huh? We got a couple of them in here. A 4 mana 4-4 four, four Flying Dragon, and whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX Red Dragon Illusion creature token with Flying in Haste, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast that spell. Exile that token at the beginning of the next end step. Now, we probably don't see this too often because of all the removal just packed into standard, right? So it's going to be pretty easy for the opponent to remove this, so hopefully we can see at least one game where we pop off with this dragon. But it is nice because it is a threat that the opponent definitely has to remove immediately or it's going to win us the game next turn, probably. We got a couple Jayas in here as well. Um, the minus one on Jaya is actually pretty great. And then the minus two can actually do a lot as well if you have a couple monks on the board first. I, I think Jaya is just kind of an amazing planeswalker. Another one that we don't see too often in general, huh? On the very top end, we're rocking all four burn down the house, guys. I don't know if this is like an aggro deck or a mid-range build at this point, but either way, I'm seeing enough soldiers to the point where I'm just like... Oh man, I, I keep bringing it up, but I have not won against Azora Soldiers for weeks. I, I Like, not a single match, guys. Uh, <laughs> and I see it multiple times a day, and sometimes multiple times in the same video. So maybe Burn Down the House can help us get there. There are definitely going to be moments where we need to go turn 4 Burn Down the House, like off of a ramp with Chandra, for example. We'll see, though. We'll see, huh? Uh, if we're not, you know, dealing five damage to everything, then those devils work wonders with the mechanized warfare. Just dropping a burn down the house, get some devils on the board, and then you get a 5-5 five, five dragon illusion when you have the hell kite on the board too. It's just going to be a very powerful top end card. Think like invoke despair for mono black aggro type thing. That's, that's kind of how we're treating the burn down the house. <laughs> Okay, 23 mana, guys. I actually playtested the deck a little bit and ranked already, and every single match I flooded on out. So that was with 24 mountains. I dropped down to 23, and I'm a little bit skeptical. But we'll see, huh? If I flooded every game with 24, hopefully 23 will do it for us. Got some honorable mentions over here, guys. Commando faces Kakazan. There's not too many great two drop. Well, it's only Flame Breather. <laughs> where the uh, the second ability would work for a two drop. It's still powerful enough to consider this though, for sure, 100%, even though we don't have too many great two drops to run into, but yeah, definitely consider Kumano. A Swift Spear and a Dwarven Forge Chanter. The prowess on this would be pretty sweet in a deck like this, but 
not this time. And I actually have another deck planned for this week that actually runs both of those creatures. So uh, Celestis would be pretty awesome in here. Another way to ramp into the burn down the house. Um, just like in general too, like going Flame Breather, drop in the Celestis and then being able to tap the Celestis and do like a play with fire or something to the opponent's face is pretty good too. So definitely consider Celestis. And then Elder Dragon War uh, would be like a good replacement maybe for the Maniform Hellkite if you're looking for more ways to wipe the board. <laughs> and it also doesn't hit the Flame Breather because it does two damage to everything. So that's definitely something to consider. No Mishra's Foundry this time. We have too much double red in our uh, three drop spots. Seven cards require the double red. If we rock like two Mishra's Foundries, I guess you could play one. That would be fine. But if we played with two of them, then that is technically going to get in the way sometimes for our three drops. But yeah, I just didn't add any this time around. <laughs> okay, guys, it's a pretty simple one, honestly. It's just more mono red. You could definitely call it mono red burn if you'd like to. That would definitely work, right? Either way, let's go ahead, take it into some ranked and see how we do. We got right into that first match, guys. Let's go. Oh, man. That 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 took, like, less than a second. Oh, hey, we get two Flame Breathers in our opener? Heck yeah, guys. This is definitely a worthwhile hand. And the festivities, nice. What do we got here? Jetmere's Garden. Oh, no. Oh. It might be a five-color uh, deck. Mechanized Warfare. Let's go, guys. First game, and we get both the cards. Courier's Briefcase. Okay. Yep, yep. It looks like a five-color brew. Okay, let's uh, get that Mechanized Warfare down. Um, Attempt to swing, right? Yeah, they, they might want to chump. It's two damage if they don't chump. And that might mean a difference, a world of difference, right? So next turn, we got some decisions here. We could always just keep Crucible back in our hand for now and go Flame Breather and end the festivities. Ooh. Chandra. Okay, I think the plan stays the same, but I definitely want to be able to play multiple things. All right, let's get Flame Breather down. We definitely want to kill the Goblin Shaman too. All right, so we'll end the festivities. A lot of extra damage, guys. A lot of extra damage. Down to 11, and I guess I am going to play this. Do we, do we need to? I guess. I guess I will, yeah. You never know. There, there could be something we draw where we need that extra mana to, like, win the game that turn. Oh, buddy. There's probably a reanimator deck, guys, which, um, they got five mana right now. Oh, no, guys. If they reanimate that Titan, drag to the bottom. Okay, that's really good for them. Like, they needed that for sure. Uh, Mechanized Warfare, number two. So see, if that was a land, we actually could have played Chandra, played the land, plus the Chandra, and then played the Fable all in the same turn, so... We're still going to get Chandra down this turn. Because if, if they don't have something like this is an extra two damage per turn. And that might be able to just wrap it up for us. It might be. Okay, Fable comes out. And I am terrified about them bringing that Titan back, guys. That is so much life gain. And then they can start copying it with Reflection. They drop a Kami War from the hand, and the opponent's deck is one that we haven't seen in a very long time. 
So props to the opponent, huh? All right, we're going for burn to the face and they have blue in here. So while they're tapped out, I'm doing this. Oh, reflection though, guys. Oh crap. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's hit face. Ah, uh, okay. It's actually better to hold it for their turn. Here's why. If they do bring back a Titan, then we really need to play with Fire the Reflection. I, I hate doing that because they have blue open. Oh, they can bounce a uh, Mechanized Warfare. Oh, crap. We knew that was going to happen, too. It's been forever since we played against Kami War. I think I'm going to keep the Jaya. Fable would be great to get down, but at this point in the match, like, everything's leaning towards the opponent now that they have enough mana to actually, like, you know, play their biggest things. And then start copying them, too, so I, I think... Okay, Celestis. Yep, they still have three mana. So... Oh, they're going to gain three life from that, too. Dude, we haven't seen this style of deck in so long. Man, the, the meta's just kind of been crazy. It's it's actually crazy to me how good like this style of deck can be, but we just never see it. So let's do three damage. Let's do three damage. It, it's fine. It's not the four damage, but... Uh, okay. Let's take out that reflection. They're going to gain the three next turn. This is going to turn into a 6-6. Six, six. Man, there's a lot of tough decisions right now. They have Celestis too. Let's just hit this uh, reflection while we can. And unfortunately, just passes right back to the opponent. Now, we could see two turns of burn here, and we, we could have searched for it, too. We could have sent the abrade to the bottom, but... Oh, yeah, they're back up to nine, too, so we, we would need more than two turns. Yeah, another Kami's War. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. That card's so good. All right. Gonna get that Jaya down and we're gonna start going plus. Get some monks on the board. <clears throat> they probably swing Jaya. Unless they have a plan to kill us in a couple turns, they would want to hit that Jaya or return it to our hand. Uh, return. Return the monk to our hand and then have us discard. Oh, yeah, no, that's equally as bad. Is there a way through was there a way through before i did that play i guess we could have no <laughs> we could have just played the mechanized warfare it would have been the same thing they would have bounced the warfare back to hand and we would have discarded one of the uh jayas i guess we'd still have the warfare in hand then huh uh i guess have your briefcase yeah i i don't think there was a way through after after the second Kami War came down. It just does too much. It continues to lock down the board state. Oh, man. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, guys. If those Flame Breathers were able to survive, you know, not every deck is rocking dragged to the bottom. We get our other Jaya down and... Let Jaya die, I suppose. <laughs> no great way through here. Now, we, we could minus one, but that's just until... Uh, that is just this turn. You may play that card this turn, right? And I guess we could have done that and searched for a one drop. But an end of the festivity isn't hitting much here. Yeah, seeing both of the mechanized warfare, but then they, they are easily able to pick that apart with something like um, the Kami War. Which is awesome, man. Props to the opponent for playing such a classic deck at this point. You know what? Have the Titan of Industry, buddy. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> We're like super dead. Let's, uh, 
let's let him have some fun, huh? And we'll let him close out the game too. Why not? It's not every day you get to swing in with a couple of the uh, the manifests here and a titan, right? Like it's not every day. Nice. But yeah, that first play with Jaya, if we were closer to winning, wow, hey, if the mechanized warfare was on the board, that would clean up nicely. And then, of course, if I wasn't messing around and giving him a Titan, too, that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that that could be really good, too. Drop the GG's. Favorite emote? Here, have the drag to the bottom back. There you go. And here, have the third Kami War as well. <laughs> oh man, that makes me want to uh, go back and make a five color build with the Kami War again. Some of those were some of my favorite builds actually. Like, I, I forget the one right now. I forget the last one that I did. It, it had a lot of like similar cards, right? Like the... um. The briefcase was a big card in that deck. That's just a uh, briefcase is actually insane, isn't it? It does so much. All right, we'll see if we can get right into the next game. And I don't know if we are going to get as lucky as that one where we got to see two of the flame breathers and two of the mechanized warfares. Oh, 20 seconds. Whoa. Whoa, what is happening? Guys, send help. Oh, no. I might have to... Uh... Might have to edit this video. What's up? What's up? We had to uh, we had to find a balance because the uh, first game took like less than a second. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh uh, man. Hey, I guess uh, that gave me enough time to remember. I have to I have to start saying this closer to the beginning of the video. But ooh ooh, I don't like this hand. And we go first. Ooh ah. Yee. Eh, we'll be fine. <laughs> It'll everything's fine, guys. All right, and the festivities. Um, sorcery speed, so it's not open. But anyways, hey, 2023 sub goal. It's set all the way up at 5,000. So if you want to help us reach that goal, then uh, consider subscribing. It is much appreciated, friends. So the third burn down the house is a pretty bad draw. That's one. Like that's probably. The card that we want to see the least right now. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, everything's fine. First of all, first of all, this technically probably should have been a mulligan hand. Uh, but second of all, we do only have 23 mountains in here, so I can't complain too much for not seeing it uh, the last turn. And the flame breather was a great draw too. Man, what are these uh, builds today, huh? Don't tell me this is the like the same thing. No, big score. Oh, one with the multiverse. Oh, crap, we're in trouble. Oh, crap, what are these big decks we're going up against, huh? Hey, Fable of the Mirror Breaker is perfect. Yeah, I, I can't complain at all with what we've seen. After keeping this hand, all of those have been great draws so far. Yeah, Invoke Justice. Yeah, that was fast, huh? Portal to Phyrexia for free, maybe? Maybe. Sanctuary Warden for free. Oh, buddy. If we can get that other shield counter, maybe we'll be able to get a good burn down the house here. That's the problem. If we discard one of the burns, then they'll know to keep that other shield counter on there. Just like keeping three burns in hand doesn't exactly seem perfect either. I guess we'll have to get rid of the shield counter with the end of festivities. That's probably the best bet. And they probably won't block if we swing with this. Especially if we go end the festivities first, right? And then keep, like, a lightning strike open. Well, they have two treasures open, too, guys, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, because if they block, then we can uh, Lightning Strike, or we'll try. It would have been nice to get Flame Breather down first. Wow. I mean, this, this could be terrific for us. Make Disappear. Uh, touch the Spirit Realm. Nice. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, this Sanctuary Warden is going to be a problem, but you know what else? The one with the multiverse is immediately going to give them, like, another Warden or something worse. <laughs> um, at this point, like, we don't even have creatures, so a portal to Phyrexia, eh. I mean, yeah, it would probably just be a meh for them right now. As opposed to just, like, uh, keeping consistency with creatures on the board. So we could end the festivities to get rid of that last counter again. Man, these last couple decks, huh? These have, this has been really off meta. Unless the meta is shifting somehow. Is the meta shifting and, and somebody forgot to notify me? <laughs> um, right, so I'm gonna go flame breather. We gotta keep this treasure. Or when we draw the uh, our fourth mountain, so we can go burn down the house to get rid of the warden. Yeah, and the festivities sorcery speed, so we want to be able to take out. They got an abrade for the flame breather. Okay. All right, sanctuary warden is ready to die to the burn down the house next turn. Unfortunately, we'll lose the reflection too. Man, I don't even. I don't even know where to begin against these decks. Like, when when the opponents are playing, like, so off meta that I don't... Oh, there's the portal. All right, well, now they can start bringing the Sanctuary Warden back every turn. Oh, my goodness, and they still had enough mana to play a Titan of Industry, guys. <laughs> we just got destroyed, dude. Holy cow. Mechanized Warfare is not gonna do it that that's that huh? i don't even think there's a way to survive next turn there isn't we might as well play uh mechanized warfare and be a little sad about it i guess my flame breather how could you good game opponent um <laughs> that's rough man that was like a really early or it felt like a really early one with the multiverse, huh? Ah, oh, we're, we're fine, guys. Eventually, we'll get to platinum. I, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so the only time uh, this month I've played in ranked has actually just been on recording. And I brought it up a couple times, but we've just been getting epically destroyed. So I apologize for that, guys. I, I apologize for just the, uh, the gold gameplay. I really got to take some extra time um to play some ranked night i guess that's not entirely true i did play a couple test matches uh for a couple of the builds this week um in ranked so huh oh there we go 26 seconds wow guys hey i apologize if it uh keeps doing this for the rest of the evening maybe i'll have to edit some of the videos uh usually i don't usually as you guys know i just kind of I, I sit down i press record from start to finish i don't do anything fancy what you see is what you get. The matches that we play is exactly like all of them are in the exact order. Um, good hand. All right, sweet. Yes, yes. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. There must be less people playing magic right now. Uh, I guess I am recording this at a little bit of an earlier time. Just a little bit, though. Maybe like a half hour earlier than I usually record. Jai is fine. Aww. Flame Breather might not hit this board, guys. Well, at least Fable of the Mirror Breaker might be able to get down then. Yeah, we got some Grixis or Rakdos Make Disappear, as uh, some like to call it. <laughs> and you can see why, right? Um, 
Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, at least we'll be able to get our own Fable down. We did get that fourth mana, so Hellkite may, might be able to hit this board. Huh. Yeah, we gotta be a little bit... A little bit more careful with the Jaya this time around. In, in the last... Last time we played Jaya... Uh, it was leaning towards the opponent heavily anyways, and so... This time around, it might really matter what we do with the Jaya. Corpse Appraiser, okie dokies. Okie dokies, nothing too fancy from the opponent just yet, so we gotta be prepared for a Shieldred or an Invoke Despair next turn. Not saying it's gonna happen, but we do have to be prepared for it. So if it is something like Invoke Despair, then it would be nice to be able to keep this Goblin Shaman. The mountain's fine. And I don't mind the end of the festivities, too. I, I don't mind just rocking the play with fire onto the goblin shaman here. I'm going to ditch one mountain and see what we can find. Mechanized warfare. See, that's not bad at all. Okay. If it's something. Okay. So a cut down this turn and then an invoke despair next turn would easily be the most devastating thing the opponent could do. However, they do have two mana open because of the treasure. So it could just be like a go for the throat for the hell kite this turn anyways. And then maybe a shieldred next turn or something. Maybe. Is going to be a go for the throat for the Hellkite. If you guys can't tell, I've played against a lot of Grixis. Um, <laughs> the last, like, uh, couple weeks of videos, the uh, the Grixis builds have been uh, relatively predictable. Okay, we can probably swing into the Reflection and Ramp with the 2-2, which is going to be important if we want to get Mechanized Warfare down, as well as, like, dropping and the festivities and a Play With Fire on the same turn. Because that would take care... Oh no! It would take care of a Shieldred. It is going to be an Invoke Despair instead. Oh no, guys. Oh, we're getting picked apart right now. I'm not going to give up, though. It's going to have to be... Let's clear up this board state a little bit. It sucks that we can't get the Flame Breather down. And that the Corpse Appraiser still survives for the turn, but had I kept that mountain in hand, we would have had that fifth mountain hit, and then we could have uh, had the Play With Fire open. No, my mechanized warfare. No, opponent, why? Hey, fifth mountain. Okay, so we're not completely out of this, but it's not looking great, guys. They still got three cards in hand, like something really truly special has to happen here man i would much rather see a chandra right now i came to talk but if you'd rather fight bring it on okay um play with fire Get out there might be fire. able to well yeah it's too bad the mechanized warfare is gone again guys man it's it's too bad that it's been so easy for the opponents to remove today Now, we do see a fair bit of enchantment removal, though. A, a fair bit, but not too much that you, that it would make you say, like, oh, it, Warfare's not even worth playing because everyone just has enchantment removal, right? Like, it's not that bad. Destroy each creature with power two or less. Oh, man. Oh, they're going to give the Corpse Appraiser lifelink, too? <laughs> and they could take out the Jaya this turn. Because of the extra counters. Oh, they don't care. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're just dead. We're at four, guys. When did that happen? <laughs> Good game. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Oh, okay. I have faith. I have faith in this deck, guys. A hundred percent. We can get there. 
Um, I do know one thing. Once we actually get the ball rolling, if the opponent already isn't rolling the ball for themselves, um, then we're really going to know how to pack in that damage. So, yeah, there we go. Five seconds. It's like every other game. Maybe everyone else was just in a game for those uh, other 20 second ones. Okay, yeah, we keep this. Two flame breathers, guys. One of them's got to survive, right? The great hand. Oh no, not two islands. Please, opponent, where? Oh, somebody play soldiers against me. Anything. <laughs> oh man. You gotta love it. Um, I do want to eventually beat an Azora Soldiers deck, though. That that would be very nice. So maybe we'll see one. Maybe we'll have one, like, at the very end here. Uh, second, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Essence Scatter. Maybe they don't have, like, a negate in this build. There are definitely creatures in every single deck that they would want an Essence Scatter for. Alright, second Fable tells me to try Fable. It's gonna be a negate. Wow! Rocking both of them in the mono blue. That's pretty scary, guys, because at any point it could be one or the other. Okay, two blue open. Drew another Fable, that's fine. Attempt Fable number two. It's gonna be a make disappear this time. Okay, so wonder I wonder the configuration here. It's probably four make disappears. It's probably a couple negates and a couple essence scatter. Maybe even three of each. Maybe three scatters, two negates. That's probably what I would end up doing. Oh no, the terrors on the board, guys. All right, they only have one island open now, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, the terror is a problem. What do we want to hit this board? I guess Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Because it could help us get to five mana for the burn down the house, which might be required, especially if they drop a second terror. Or a Hadi Jin. Okay, down to 15. Another burn down the house. Let's get rid of a warfare. Let's get rid of a burn down the house. We gotta search for the mountain right now. Unfortunately, the djinn. The djinn's a problem because this island could be any of their counter spells. So. They do end up blocking, which means they're pretty confident that they have a counter. I'd love to hit the terror too. But let's see we have five. Let's see about the flame breather here. Okay, that hits. So they want the counter for the play with fire. But if it's a make disappear, we still have the two available. Nice, we actually were able to get rid of it and now we have the abrade open for their turn. Okay, it's a little bit awkward, but we got there kind of, or, or we did something. Okay, we're gonna take this five this time. This time. Oh, nothing for the abrade, huh? Okay, so I don't think I see these decks run like Delverb Secrets too often anymore or pretty much anything like that. Yeah, that, that burn down the house might actually end up being devils. We're at 10. Like, we're not in, like, too much danger. I mean, we're in danger, don't get me wrong. But extra damage? Yeah, whatever. We'll try it, huh? Down to 16. Kind of wishing this was a lightning, uh, a lightning strike right now. Because then the burn down the house could help us win next turn or something. Not necessarily. We really weren't able to do much damage this game. 
Okay, what do you guys think? One more time. I say we probably lost, so if we don't go in, guns a blazing. Okay, terror. If that's only one island open, I'm going in guns blazing next turn, guys. Lightning strike. Like, we could survive an extra turn by having chump blockers, but they also could have just, like, a fading hope, too. So doing something like this... It is going to be a fading hope, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be a fading hope. We should keep some devils back as a chump blocker then. Unless we know for a fact that we can get that excess damage through, which I don't think we can. Because they're going to go down to 12, and then even if all of our stuff hits through, it's only going to be 10 damage. We need two blockers no matter what, and we need to prepare for one Fading Hope. And and an extra Fading Hope on their turn, too. <laughs> so they just end up blocking with Terror. So Fading Hope takes out one of the Devils, and then a Fading Hope on their turn, and we still have two blockers for the Terrors on the ground. This is ridiculous, guys. <laughs> sure, sure. We'll try it. We'll try it. I, I thought I was going to go in guns blazing, but yeah, since we weren't able to do too much, we were able to get an extra two damage from the flame breather copy with the reflection, so. Also, no fading hope? They could just double down fading hopes this turn, too, or drop three of them, honestly. Three fading hopes on the same turn would kind of be pretty funny. Okay, we might still be able to get there, guys. Glad these don't have trample right now. Extra damage, extra damage. Very nice. Mechanized warfare doing a thing right now. Oh, crap. Okay, another mountain. Okay, well. Copy flame breather. Slip out the back. That's not good. Got to get that extra damage through. Like right now. Down to two, right? And then... I, I guess as long as we play it, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, flame breather goes on top. Yes! Let's go, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is the perfect game um, to end on, actually. We're almost 40 minutes in, and I definitely want to talk about this deck. I want to talk about the decks that we saw today, too. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the final thoughts, right? So <laughs> I got a little concerned that the Flame Breather wasn't going to go onto the stack unless uh, the Abrade resolved, but obviously... Like, my brain knew that it was going to work, but I got a little scared for a second when I saw the Ward 2 go on top of it first. Um, yeah, Mechanized Warfare, Flame Breather, ending up uh, getting us there against Mono Blue, guys. That was awesome. I'm very pleased. And Reflection doing a thing by copying the Flame Breather the last turn was pretty sick. Seeing the Lightning Strike was awesome. Everything about this game was pretty good. I was thoroughly convinced that it was leaning towards the opponent, but yeah. Ended up working out very nicely, huh? <laughs> Let's go ahead and go over that deck one more time. The non-creature red. This was a pretty fun one. I feel like the decks that we saw today were like super out of the meta. Well, except for the mono blue. But even then, we don't really see too much mono blue. I guess we see it every now and then. But not too much. Like, the, the main meta that I've been seeing is, is way too much Grixis. Like I said, if you guys can't tell, a little bit too much Grixis, as we pretty much know everything they're going to play at any given moment. Um, but then, also, the soldiers, like the Azora soldiers, and I haven't seen too much mono white soldiers recently. Those uh, first two decks that the opponents played were pretty crazy. That was awesome, actually. If, if the meta starts shifting towards something like that, 
then I, I gotta brace I gotta brace myself right because holy cow we got wrecked in those games yeah flame breather was awesome mechanized warfare was awesome realistically if you want it to be a little bit more competitive I guess you could drop to three or two mechanized warfares but I mean hey did you see how much work it put in that last one it put in a lot of work um, and if you do that when I say like make it more competitive then you probably would want to just add something based on the meta that you are currently seeing uh, for example like this deck has so much removal and if you're sitting there like man I really hope I top deck a removal and you're thinking that every game then you could even pump even more removal in here too right <laughs> Uh, and that would totally work. Uh, something like the Flame Blessed Bolt is really powerful if you're just like getting killed by Tenacious Underdog every single game. And so dropping down to three Warfare would be 100% fine. Actually, um, actually sad we didn't see too much Chandra today. I really do think that this would have put in a ton of work overall. Yeah, uh, a lot of times it would have been a lot better than when we saw the Jaya. So... I would consider, I probably wouldn't do this, but going down to one Jaya and four Chandra, I don't think the four Chandra will end up working out since, of course, you know, it is a legendary planeswalker, and so there are going to be some games where you only see the four Chandra somehow by some miracle, right? Uh, it would have a huge target on its back anyways, and of course, Chandra can help you find your other red cards too, so... Once it finds other red cards for you and it ends up dying, you can play another one. So actually, I'm talking myself into it. Maybe four of these wouldn't be that bad at all. The four burn down the house were very good. I, I enjoy having decks with four burn down the house when we can play them. But again, I'm pretty skeptical by the 23 mountains. It's pretty sketchy sometimes. But like I said, I tested it with 24 and I flooded out every single game. So maybe you're concerned and maybe you're not seeing your mountains. Well, go up to 24 total and then drop like an end the festivities. You'll be fine with three. A hundred percent fine, right? Even though end the festivities is a really cool pairing with the warfare and obviously having more one drops works wonders with like the Chandra because on turn three, drop the Chandra plus the Chandra, uh, drop a play with fire to the opponent's face, right? Uh, there's a lot of really cool lines of play that we really didn't get to see today, which is a little bit unfortunate, huh? Um, yeah, yeah, I think maybe we do just want the one Jaya, but I don't exactly know what you would want to go up if you do drop the Jaya. And if you drop the Jaya and you drop down the 23 Mechanized Warfare and you drop down to the three and the festivities, then you have three spots open. And I guess one could go to that mountain because I'm, yeah, I, I'm pretty sketched by the 23. <laughs> So going up to 24 would be fine. Uh, and then you'd have two spots open. And what would we want to do with that? Let me know down in the comments, guys. What would you do with those two spots? And uh, hey, if you made it this far into the video, then y'all are champions for real. Thank you so much. Uh, obviously, we're going to return to more mono red in the future. And I can only imagine before Flame Breather uh, rotates out later on this year, right, that we're going to be playing with more Flame Breather at some point. Uh, I, I I hope so, at least, right? Flame Breather is such a cool card. Uh, obviously, Fable of the Mirror Breaker was really good in here, too. Kind of sort of an MVP in any deck you put it in, so yeah. All right, guys, hey, thanks again for being here, and I will see you in the next video.